Hi, my name is Jordan Burrs and I'm going to be your host for the entire FIFA World Cup 2022. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We drop daily predictions, daily previews and daily know-how advantages on this channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Croatia-Morocco game, Germany versus Japan, Spain versus Costa Rica and Belgium taking on Canada. But before we get into that, I do have an offer for you from BetMGM. All you have to do is deposit $10, bet $10 on any World Cup pre-game money line and you get $200 of free bets in your account. Basically, what this means is if someone scores a goal in the World Cup or if someone scores a goal today, you get $200 in your bankroll of free bets. Again, bet MGM, deposit 10, bet 10, win 200. Make sure you subscribe. Let's jump into the predictions. First up, we've got Morocco taking on Croatia. Now, Croatia was surprised 2018 World Cup runners-up losing to France in the final. They managed to beat Argentina in the group stage. Then they beat Denmark, Russia and England to make it all the way to the final. They're going to want to do the same here in this group against Belgium. Belgium and Croatia are the favorites to top this group, but don't underestimate this Morocco side. Yes, they got eliminated from AFCON in the quarterfinals by Egypt, but they boast a very, very strong defense. Luka Modric and his boys are going to have to do a great job to break this Moroccan defense down. Now, both of these teams have goals in them. Morocco scored five against Chile and Georgia in their warm-ups for the World Cup, while Croatia have scored in their last six games. However, I don't think the attack is what's going to be on showcase in this game. Both of these defenses are very, very good, and Morocco especially have a very well-organized defense. I do think it's going to be very difficult for Croatia to get through this Moroccan defense, and Morocco will want to hit them on the counter with players like Ziyech. So for me, I do think this might end in a draw, and I'm swaying a little bit to Morocco's side. I'm, there has to be an upset somewhere along the line, and I think this one could be it. So my prediction and bet for this one is Morocco double chance at odds of minus 125. Our next fixture up is Germany taking on Japan. Now, Germany would love not to repeat what they did back in 2018 when they got grouped and didn't make it to the knockout stages. That Champions Coast playing a role there. We'll see if it plays a role for France this year. Now, Japan, on the other hand, want to do what South Korea did back in 2018 and beat a European giant on the biggest stage of all, being the World Cup. Now, don't underestimate this Japan team. They're very feisty, they're very good, and eight of their players play in the Bundesliga. So they know German football, they know the systems, and this could prove to be a much tighter game than a lot of people think. Germany are coming into this tournament with sort of a mixed bag of form. We saw how badly they did in the Nations League, drawing a couple, then eventually beating Italy 5-2. But this Japan side have also not been in great form, but they are the loose cannon in this group. They could definitely throw the cat amongst the pigeons here, upset a Germany or a Spain, and find themselves quite easily in the knockout rounds. Germany should definitely not be underestimating this Japan side. However, I do think Germany just edged this one 1 or 2 0. So, my betting tip and pick for this is Germany money line at minus 210. Our next fixture up is Spain taking on Costa Rica. Now, the 2010 champion Spain will want to do something very similar in this World Cup. Spain, however, haven't won a knockout stage World Cup game since the final of 2010. They'll want to improve on that, but they first have to get past this very feisty Costa Rican team. Costa Rica have gained 14 FIFA rankings in the last year, the highest of any nation. To be fair, they still are 24th, but they're an improving nation that can be dangerous and maybe make this a little bit difficult for Spain. We know Spain are lacking forward options. They do have good forward options, Morata, um, Brian Torres, but they're not in form and they don't seem to be taking their chances we saw in the Nations League. However, I do think Spain will fall back on their midfield of Gavi, Pedri, Rodrigo, Alba, all of those boys are going to have to play their hearts out and carry this Spain team through to the knockout stages. Now, again, don't sleep on this Costa Rica team. I do think they have an upset in them within this World Cup. Will it be against Spain or Germany? I'm not too sure. I think the day four of the World Cup is a day to play it safe. These are going to be tight games and very unpredictable. So my bet for this one is Spain to win and both teams to score no at odds of minus 200. Then our final fixture for day four of the World Cup is Belgium taking on Canada. Now the 2018 bronze medalists are taking on this Canadian team that are only making their second appearance ever in the World Cup. 
a stat that might open your eyes to how experienced this Belgium team is and how inexperienced this Canadian team is, is that Belgium have eight players going to this World Cup playing in their third World Cup, where Canada, only their captain Hutchinson was alive when Canada played in their last World Cup. This is bronze versus bronze. This is first versus fourth. This is an uphill battle for Canada. Do I think they could upset them? Probably not. And then this Canadian defense is going to have to deal with the likes of Kevin De Bruyne and Eden Hazard. Lukaku, I don't think he'll be starting for Belgium. He only played 30 minutes for Inter since August. So he's still dealing with a little bit of an injury. And I think he'll only feature a little bit later in the tournament. With that being said, Canada have also never scored a goal in the World Cup, but I think they could open their campaign here against Belgium. Canada did impress by finishing first in the CONCACAF qualifications ahead of Mexico and USA, so they can play some ball. However, I do think Belgium will sneak this. Probably two or three goals, it will be quite comfortable, but we're going to play it safe just because I'm not sure what we're going to get out of this Canadian team. I'm going Belgium money line at minus 200. Just to recap our bets for the day, we've got Morocco double chance, we've got Germany money line, we've got Spain to win and both teams to score no, and we have Belgium money line. Again, guys, if you haven't subscribed to the Odd Shoppers channel, do that right now. We post daily predictions, previews, and no house advantage videos. As always, I'm your host, Jordan Burrs. You can go follow me at Jordan Burrs on YouTube. Until next time, we'll see you then. Peace.